I'm Greg Lassiter. Welcome to 30 Frames a Second. We have a great show for you today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Geofence warrants allow authorities to compel technology companies to disclose location records for any device in a certain area at a particular time. Court filings suggest that Google received a 1,500% increase in geofence requests from 2017 to 2018 and a 500% increase from 2018 to 2019. Unlicensed And so, the Fourth Amendment requires probable cause and specificity, and that's not what these are. These warrants are essentially for any person in an area at a particular time, and geofence warrants require neither. So, unless accompanied by particularized information and identifying a subject, geo warrants are essentially general warrants. I believe that the location information should be considered as contents of the Electronic Communications Act under the Stored Communications Act. Do you agree?
want to introduce the man, the myth, the legend, the birthday boy, Nat Wood. Welcome to your own show, Nat. What's good? Hey, brother. How you doing? Uh, I'm good, bro. It's your birthday coming up. Uh, yeah, in well, a little you bit. know what? <laughs> 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 Guess what? You'll still be older than me, pops. <laughs> Uh, not if you die. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Either way, yeah. you'll still be older. <laughs> um, Nat, there's so much going on in the world. Let's hop right into, let me see. Let's, let's talk about this real quick since I just read it. There's a woman and her family in Aurora, Colorado. She was she had taken her niece, her sister, her niece, her child, her cousin, there's a few of them, to a nail parlor to get their nails done. As she was coming out, the Aurora police stopped them, made all the, there was kids from seven to 17, the whole family get on the ground because they got a call of the tag was from a stolen car. It wasn't even a stolen car. It was on a motorcycle in a different state. What are we, what is this world coming to, man? Aurora, Colorado is uh, a lost cause. If anything justifies all of the demonstrations and the protests that are going on now, uh, certainly Aurora, Colorado has to be high on the list. Aurora, Colorado right. was where they just like butchered and mutilated and, and killed uh, young Elijah Mc, uh, McClain. Right. Uh, for nothing. It's the same police force that just uh, really actually thinks it is not simply uh, the law. It does not simply uh, believe that it is above the law. It actually thinks it is God almighty and can do anything it wants to do, especially if your skin is black or brown. That is correct. Um, but not see now. Uh, the chief of police came out and said it was a mistake. Now, honestly, those cops, these kids that, that were put in handcuffs and made laid on the ground, made laid, to lay on the laid ground. Laid on the ground, right, right. That it was something that is traumatizing that kids don't forget. You know, that is something. I, one, they're going to need a lot of therapy. Two, I, I'm sorry and apologizing is not good enough. The police, uh, the police commissioner, uh, chief of police kept saying, you know, we're doing better, we're doing better, we're doing better. You're not doing better. You thought First of all, I think most of the police that are on the police force, and, and uh, I said most. So right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even say some. White folks like to get on the air and say some, <laughs> a few. No, they don't even say some, they say a few. I say most. Uh, uh, should not be police officers. Right. Um, the reason that they are police officers is that there is a, a systemic white supremacy within the police departments all throughout this country. Right. Um, the only reason that the Elijah Mc, uh, McLean case came to light is because of the demonstrations revolving right. around George Floyd. That's exactly right. Elijah McClain actually happened months before George Floyd, and, right. and the system itself covered it up from the police uh, commissioner to the police chief to uh, uh, the people who, who do the, uh, 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 you know, the, what do they call right. it? Uh, study the bodies. They do the autopsy. The, 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 uh, the um, uh, medical examiner. The medical examiner. Everyone right. covered this up. They right. could not cover this up after George Floyd and the protests. And they were not prepared for the subsequent protests. The right. literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people who came out for this 23 year old violin, four, uh, five foot six, 140 pound, uh, meek, sweetheart, meek, right, yeah. <laughs> a meek, humble uh, uh, person who actually played violin for homeless cats because he thought wow. they'd be lonely. Right, um, right. They were not expecting that. And, right. and initially, 
they tried to double down on on their covering their own asses, but that became impossible. Right, right. However, right. they never changed the way they operated uh, uh, and were doing business, especially in terms of reforming the police department and the way right. they operate. They right. continued business as usual. Right. That is a systemic problem. But Nat, where do we go? We, we are here and we do this daily, on a daily. It takes the people of Aurora, Colorado to say enough's enough. Don't you think? Not only, not, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me, let me go on a little bit further. It's now time for the Justice Department I mean, after this whole Trump thing hopefully goes away, we can get an attorney general that could hopefully dismantle and go in to every police department across the country and start. That's how you dismantle white supremacy from a police standpoint, Nat. We have to start one with the mayor of each town, of each city, to say, you point the co police commissioner. You're responsible for uh, what happens in your police department. I mean, come on. I thought we would do better under the Obama administration with Eric uh, Holder, but he proved to be useless. So I don't know. We can't say, okay, once we get a black guy there, he's going to change things. It didn't happen. Where do we go from here? Where do we do? How do we go from here? Where do we go? You cannot reform white supremacy. You cannot put a black face in a white position and think that you will, quote unquote, reform white supremacy. That's a good point. White supremacy has to be dismantled and eliminated. Right. The best place in the world to do this, to um, start doing this, to completely dismantle the concept of white supremacy is the United States of America. Good, good point. You're absolutely right. The reason that it is, is because the United States is the last European empire on the face of the earth. It, it controls all of the money and it controls the weaponry. Uh, uh, those people who go against the United States, uh, like China and, and, mm -hmm. and Russia and those types of people, well, Russia is still white supremacist. And Very China, much so. And China wants to be Asian supremacist. Right, right. Okay. Right. That as well as Korea. North Korea. Well, Asia. Asia. Oh, Asia. 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 Okay, right. Right, right, right. You're Japan wanted to do it, but now Japan wants to just be white supremacist. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> But it's true. They, it's they, true. they, they down true. with America. They, they, they are, they, right. You know, right. they think of themselves as some somehow the white supremacist of Asians. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, in order for white supremacy to be dismantled, uh, we have to abandon the concept of reforming it. That That's good. Mean, Great point. Uh, that means that we cannot elect people to, to uh, dismantle white supremacy in and of itself. Right. It means that we have to perform on a level that is equal to or greater than white supremacy itself, which means right. that it is not simply a political phenomenon. Right. You, you have to be the best at everything you do and, and, and ultimately, get into all the nooks and crannies of white supremacy itself. You're uh, absolutely right, because Nat, in our generation, you said something on your birthday. I'll never forget. You said it before, but it rang true on your birthday. You and I, we get out here, we do this, we do this, we do this, we do the best we can. We be the best at what we did, what we have to deal with. And we, what we did was we negotiated with white supremacy. Right. Right. And that right there blows my mind because I'm sitting there going, we negotiate. There's no more negotiation. Right. We need to dismantle it piece by piece. Right. On every level. But that's going to take more than black and brown people, Nat. That's going to take 
America, America, America all together, not just black people, but everybody. How is that supposed to work? Well, uh, if you look at the protests, you realize that uh, we are fighting the greatest battle that we have ever fought in the history of, of uh, America because we are fighting to dismantle white supremacy itself. You also realize just by looking at the footage that it is African Americans who are not really participating in the fight of their life for their lives. Okay, stop, stop. Okay. Does that blow my, doesn't, that blows my mind now. I don't know about you, but there's something drastically wrong with that, with that, with that statement, but it's true. Why aren't we a part, it, it happens, it happens to us. What is, is it, are we still in that slave mentality to even think that we're just gonna let somebody else do it for us? Short answer, yes and no. We are still in that slave mentality, but that slave mentality has nothing to do with someone else doing it for us because we don't believe it can be done. The slave, wow. men, the slave mentality is a mentality that negotiates with white supremacy, that asks white supremacy for stuff. That uh, uh, the slave mentality is a mentality that believes that you uh, negotiate with white supremacy, you capitulate with white supremacy, you legislate against white supremacy, you uh, separate from white supremacy but you never conceive of eliminating white supremacy. Right, right. Now, wow, there, that's there deep, are, man. That's there, deep. Well, well, that is why we have to, um, a lot of people talk about we uh, need to put uh, uh, slavery in our history book so that white folks can understand uh, uh, slavery and, and we can all understand it. I maintain that the reason why we need to study slavery is because within slavery, there were specific roles for black people. And right. black people had to fit their role. And in right. order to survive, play your role. you had play to your play role. your role. And there were certain, that, there were certain uh, 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 things within the creation of, of chattel slavery in America, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, enslaved Africans in America, certain roles that we adhere to even today. So right. when, you, when, when you look at, at um, say, entertainment, um, you notice that uh, they are playing the designated roles that they were assigned Signed to in slavery. Deep. That's deep, yeah, that's right. Bra brown skin girls had a specific role. They were created to do a specific thing. Right. Black men had a specific role. They were created to do a specific thing. And those blacks who did not fit in those given roles had no place and no hope of actually uh, uh, living a peaceful, successful life within the right. confines of slavery. Oh, that is deep. That, that is deep. That is deep. That is deep. Uh, there were actual laws, and we talked about this before. Right. There were actual, uh, actual laws that were uh, uh, drawn out specifically because uh, brown skin girls, mulattoes in Louisiana mm. were gaining too much power and influence and influence over white males uh, because of their provocative sexual nature. And their hair. And their hair. But that's, that, hair. Goes, that goes to right, the provocative right. Right, uh, right, sexual right, nature. Right, right, right. These right. laws were, these laws came about because white women were barking at the power and influence of brown skin girls. Specifically, right. it was brown skin. These laws right. were right. like uh, for free 
uh, right. uh, 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 what do they call brown skin girls in New Orleans? Not mulattoes, oh, but uh, 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 Cajun. Uh, uh, um, uh, right, uh, right, right. Something right, like that. Occasion. Something like that. Uh, Something like that. Uh, Something God, like I know that. what you're right. talking about. Right. 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 But these laws, these laws, these uh, headdress laws, these right. uh, Tenyan laws were specifically drawn up for free brown skin girls because they had too much influence over right. white males. Okay, <laughs> wow. they had a specific role. Blacks in slavery, black men had a specific role. Right. And right. if you and if you were not in uh if you do not adhere to those roles, you had no way of being leading a peaceful successful life within the confines of slavery that's, so it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy but if you look at rap music you see mm -hmm. that the the women that 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 are 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 uh successful the black women that are successful are those black women who are beautiful enough and 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 twerk twerk that booty enough <laughs> to say right? well to say it's true though it's true right Right, to satisfy their white masters uh, who control the industry. Right, uh, that's uh, right. Uh, the same thing, the same thing with black males. Black males fulfill that role of big, strong, dangerous B buck. Buck, uh, right. Uh, 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 who fulfill the assignments that were available to them in slavery. Okay. Right, right. All right. Now, in order for, in order for, uh, uh, in order for us to really make a dent in white supremacy, it means that we have to understand our roles and break away from those roles. Right. And, and <laughs> the uh, most important thing we have to do is become the best at every single every. thing we do. Right. Now, uh, my question to you is that you look at, not to cut you off, I don't mean to cut you off. No, nah, but go, you look go you look at across America. I look at it like this, you got the East. I I see I don't want I don't I don't like saying this, but I'm seeing it every day. We have more uninformed black people in the South than anywhere else in the country. Would you agree to that? Well, it's a different, it's a different. I don't want to say type. ignorant. Well, no, it's, it's ignorance. Um, it's ignorant. okay. But it's, <laughs> it's programmed. It's, it's programmed ignorance. But it's a different type of programmed ignorance. There's more of an arrogance uh, 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 and polish to the ignorance uh, in, in northern that. blacks than there is in right. southern blacks. Uh, but it, it's going to take dirty south. They really mean they mean the dirty, dirty, right, dirty south. Right, right, but it's right. going to take, in order for this to work, Nat. This is a collective thing among us black and brown people. Right. right. But you, if I find that you look on the internet, you, I, it, it just, it, it boggles my mind the ignorance that I see in the dirty south of that, it keeps regenerating over and over and over again is it how are we going to dismantle white supremacy ourselves we have to play an important part of dismantling white supremacy because if we don't what happens to what do we do with those those type of black people there that's not on board do we get rid of them say move on roll over them what do we do well uh uh white supremacy is very, very resistant to change. Uh, as a matter of fact, it ain't going down easy. It no. has no <laughs> intention of going down at all. Right. The, uh, the problem that we have with Southern Blacks is actually the same problem we have with Northern Blacks. We have to get them, and remember, white supremacy pays uh, uh, ignorant Black people a lot of money to uh, uh, encourage other black people to live wow. this ignorant wow. life. Nat, um, that, is, that is the most powerful statement you've ever made in your life. And we need the world to hear that again, Nat. Say that one more time. 
it the white supremacy pays ignorant blacks to a show a buttload other, full of money. Right. A buttload full of money. To have other blacks come on board. To say Correct. It's, it's like it's, it's a brainwash. Correct. Okay. Correct. Brother, I got this money over here. I got this one. money. Come on, get this money, man, and we could do this. Right. What is the mentality? We have to stop. That's my whole point now. We have to stop that mentality. How do we stop that mentality? How do we stop that mentality overall? Okay, you said there's the ignorant black in the South and right. the arrogant black in the North. Right. The ignorant black, the, the arrogant black in the North despises the ignorant black in the South. But so they, how do you bring, how do you bring they, them together? Because they both do the same thing. They have different mentalities, but they both do the same thing. They both use uh, uh, everything they can to accommodate white supremacy so that they, so that they can make some money and, and, and have something within the confines of white supremacy. That's crazy. That, that's, that, that's a brain, total brainwash. Yeah, that's a total that's brainwash. That is. You know, that's that's in the back that that whole Willie Lynch syndrome. That right there has nothing on Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch has nothing. On well, that Willie Lynch is right just there. a cute story. That, right, I mean, right. that's, that that does not really get you to understand what is right. working within right. your psyche to make you do the things that you do. So, what is the solution, Matt? We need a solution that we need to preach to every day because. In essence, what you just said, the ignorant black in the South is no different than the arrogant black in the North. No, none, 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 none. And, none. and it's white supremacy. The, the, the white... arrogant black is just a little more walk. Well, <laughs> he walks is a little better. <laughs> but that, but that looks so unwashed. <laughs> that, but that, that, <laughs> was that, was that arrogant? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> that's true. I'm from well, the that's North. True. <laughs> but 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 that's the epitome of what what white supremacy white supremacy is doing. Right. Let's right, keep them right. Pitch. Let's keep them at each other. Right. But yet right. let them know that they're still the, they're still right, all niggas. Right. Right. I well, that's that. that's <laughs> true. And 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 this is this is the uh, 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 ultimate uh, ultimate challenge. We have to get um, uh, young people to go to war against white supremacy, as right. opposed to trying to find ways to accommodate white right. supremacy and live within it. Because right now, the entire world is fighting the greatest battle of them all right. uh, for the dismantling of white supremacy. And we, we African-Americans, are woefully underrepresented because we have been programmed to think of white supremacy as immutable, everlasting, and the only means for our survival is to find ways to operate within the rules and regulations of white supremacy. A couple of Negroes with some money does not dismantle white supremacy. No, not at all. Um, 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 in order, in order to dismantle white supremacy, it means that especially, not limited to, but especially African Americans, and, right. and notice I didn't say Africans in, in the right. diaspora. <laughs> and that's, that's another thing, um, like, uh, like uh, snooty, snooty, fruity uh, Negroes like Obama, and uh, right. uh, the boy that was like in Central Park, uh, clicking the birds and the white right, woman, right, right, uh, said right, she right. Call the police, right, 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 right. No, uh, no, uh, not them. Uh, they, no. they actually, they actually buy into white supremacy more than than uh, uneducated people because they keep telling you that uh, you can accommodate, you can avoid white supremacy by getting a diploma at Harvard. Even after you get your little Harvard degree, you still need white people to be merciful and give you a job. So, uh, 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 
<laughs> Wait, you do. You do. You, you do. do. You want to know true. a teaching position? Why we'll do you have to be merciful and give you a and teaching your position? Teacher. Your little grades in and of itself <laughs> ain't going to get you the position. White folks, white folks have to like, lay that. hands on you I and love give you the that position. Now what? what I love you. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't dismantle white supremacy. It accommodates well, what do you do with white those? supremacy with a better vocab. <laughs> <laughs> but what do we do with those Negroes? What do you do with those Negroes? Again, uh, there are there are uh, the 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 dirty ignorant and the arrogant ignorant, and we all suffer from the same things. We're all trying to get a niche that we can make a life within the confines of white work. supremacy. And not, that we've been is doing not that. the same thing as eliminating, eliminating the concept of white supremacy and embracing the concept that this world was made for all people. I'm not saying eliminate white people. A lot no, of, right. a, a lot right, of people right. are, are, are talking the same stupid crap, like re right. replacing white supremacy with another kind of supremacy. Right, and, no, and, no, and, all and supremacy has to is stop. an abomination, is an right. abomination, Absolutely. is an abomination. Right. That's right. why I say the battle is not about freedom and right. it's not about justice because right. no matter who's in charge, I guarantee them to you, you will still be fighting for justice. Right. No matter Absolutely. Who, Absolutely. Uh, 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 yeah. No matter who's in charge, you will still be fighting for freedom. Right. Uh, uh, that's why I, I dismiss the whole debate about capitalism and right. and uh, socialism. Right. Uh, uh, not because I am wedded to capitalism, and not right. because I am wedded to socialism. Right. Uh, it's because I do not believe that. People have the right to tell other people what their economic system should or should not be. Right. Uh, if you choose capitalism, if, if, if Venezuela chooses capitalism and the right. people are fine with it, then right. fine. Let if them they live. choose socialism and people were right. fine with it, that's also live. fine. Right if, right. if there is a problem with the uh, system, the economic system that they choose for themselves, then it is their job to come and up with problem. something right. and fight right. against uh, whatever right. unjust system right. that they right. have allowed uh, to uh, rule them. It is not my job. I am not right. God. I am not trying but, to be. But that's America's problem. Play. But that, that's the arrogance. That's the, right, that's the arrogance of America. That's the right. arrogance. Because we think, because we have democracy, it's supposed to work for everybody. Well, if you don't know democracy and your socialist works for you and you're fine with it and the people are fine with it, why can't America just let it be? Well, we don't have democracy. We have the illusion of democracy. Right, exactly. Uh, my, uh, my mistake. Uh, you're right, uh, right, right. Um, um, but... Uh, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a truer democracy. When I'm, when I'm right. talking about uh, the elimination of white supremacy, I'm not talking about uh, kill all the whiteies I see. No, I'm no, talking right. about, and I'm not even talking about like uh, 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 an armed uh, overtaking a coup d'etat. I'm right. talking about, I'm talking about that we have not instituted the very first phase of the revolution. We have not, we have not uh, uh, addressed the issue of we are not performing on a level that we are capable of performing on. Uh, but Nat, before that happens, the first thing we have to do is deprogram ourselves. That is correct. And that's why, that's why understanding slavery is so important because we, we, uh, are looking, and that's the whole thing about the Bible. The Bible is just a book of, of cute little stories. Stories, right. That, that, that uh, uh, tells you how to make decisions in your life. Well, right. that is the same thing that, that the teaching of slavery uh, um, uh, is. It's like cute little stories that get you to avoid dealing with the ultimate reality of the programming right. that you were given during slavery. 
Because it's about control. It's about control. It's about maintaining that system of white supremacy. It right. is about control. Uh, 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 a lot of people say um, um, history is written by the winners. No, no history is no. not written by the no, winners. No. If history no, no, no. was written by the winners, we would not be having this conversation, <laughs> this conversation at uh, all. Uh, uh, what you learn about history is designated by who controls, not That's what exactly. is written. It's right. all been written. It's what all there. There are no secrets in history. It has all been written. It is right. all there. That's why white supremacy fights night and day to keep you from accessing it. Because right. it has been written. Uh, uh, right. uh, history exactly is true. written by writers. And writers right. Right. write what's going on. 30 right. frames a second does not utilize uh, right. any footage that is not no. that, there's no dramatizations in 30 no, every, frames a second. No, it's second. all real. Correct. And now it took uh, the martyr of uh, George, Floyd George Floyd to wake to work to wake the world up. Right. Now we right. can't just stop here, Nat. Right. We want we deprogram ourselves, no more negotiations. It's time to run over dismantle this over uh, piece by piece. Right. And say we're not having it anymore. Right, right. But again, we got to bring these two the arrogance, right? Uh, North and the the ignorant South together, right. and that's that right there. That I don't know because ignorance. You you look at the ignorant Negro in the South, and it's been indoctrinated into them so long that all they care about is a better life. Well, they, they don't care about, they don't, not even a better life. That's they care all about, of us. That's all of us. That's all of us. <laughs> and, 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 and ignorance, ignorance might be a misnomer um, because it is not ignorance. It is programming. And programming is, is malice of forethought. It, it is a deliberate act imposed on, uh, from one source to another. Right. We all are dealing with programming. And, and that is why we all see white supremacy in the same ways. We, we, we dress different. We talk different. Uh, 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 they don't talk as good as we talk. We talk pretty <laughs> up here uh, in the north, you know. Yeah. But we still got the same BS, you know. In that, in you that, we down, right. right? We try to accommodate white supremacy. Uh, 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 right now, over the internet, they are telling you, uh, 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 vote for Biden, don't leave Trump in, yada, yada, yada. And all of these things are good, but ultimately, ultimately, they are telling you to uh, uh, legis find ways to legislate. You have, you have the best chance of legislating uh, on your own behalf. I'm not even talking about against white right. supremacy because right, you right, 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 don't right. act against white supremacy. Right, right, uh, right. Uh, if, you, if you vote for Democrats as opposed to Republicans uh, and you are still looking for ways to, to legislate, Negoc operate within... Negotiate. White, negotiate with white supremacy as opposed to finding ways to eliminate it. Right, I'm, not talking, right. I'm not telling you not to vote. I don't want no, you right, nerd right, brains to right, think right, that's right. what I'm saying. But right, I'm saying right. you need to find a way to walk and chew gum. You right. need to find a way to do what you have to do in order to live your life, but understand that this is a war against, a war on white supremacy white. itself. Right. And that uh, your, your knuckleheaded children you need to make sure that your knuckleheaded children go to school. And I'm not saying what to do. I'm not saying that, right. that the answer is that we all become lawyers or that right. we no. all run for president. I am right. saying that if we all uh, uh, 
do what it is that we believe in and want to do. Forget about and be the best about at money it. and be, and the, be best the best at it. At it. Be right. the best at it. Put pressure on white supremacy from right. every single right. aspect. Angle. Uh, that's yes. right. You have to attack it from all sides, not right. one side, not the other side, but from all sides. This is a war, not a no. battle. And right. the fact that the fact that um, Joe Biden beats Donald Trump is not a cause not, for no, celebration. Right. Uh, right. Uh, it's just one little tiny phase of it all. And ultimately, ultimately, the war uh, uh, hangs on your performance, not right. Joe Biden. Absolutely, absolutely. Now I'm gonna segue that with these white nationalists. Racist groups are popping up. Europa. Europa. Right. Identity of Europa, Europa. right. Identity of Europa, which right. is based, it's a white nationalist, uh, white supremacy group. Right. Wait, it's right. headquartered in Washington, D.C., of correct. all places. That is correct. Of all places. That is correct. See, we have to be cognizant of every aspect of white supremacy. Not, I bet you 99% of the people out there don't even know about this, and they're a strong organization trying, they're building every day because of the threat of white supremacy falling. Well, uh, when, you, when, you talk about, when you talk about these organizations, uh, 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 Antifa on the left, uh, uh, Identity of Ropa, uh, which is a neo-Nazi organization. Right, right. When, uh, 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 um, um, uh, uh, Adam Waffen, uh, Adam Waffen Division, yeah, which is right. also a neo-Nazi organization. Uh, you understand, you understand the difference, and you understand the gravity in what I'm talking about. Um, when you look at Identity of Ropa, when you mm -hmm. look at um, Adam Waffen Division, when you mm -hmm. look at Antifa. Uh, 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 when you look at Black Lives Matter, and Black Lives Matter is not really a, a, a black organization. No, George Soros. Right, right. It has sure. it has elements of everything in there. That's right, one of the reasons right. why it's so effective. But when you look at these organizations uh, and really study them, you understand that these organizations are um, um, maybe not so much Black Lives Matter, but certainly no. I Identity Europa, the ones on right. the right, uh, right. Uh, and Adam Waffen Division, uh, uh, and, uh, and Antifa are, are uh, well, Black Lives Matter too, uh, right, are right. very sophisticated right. in terms of their ability to recruit and their knowledge of technology. Right. When you look at, when you look at uh, uh, the ones on the right, uh, the neo-Nazi groups, Adam Waffen Division and uh, Identity of Ropa, you also notice that they are very, very sophisticated in their knowledge of military tactics uh, right. uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, uh, strategies. Right. Uh, the art of war. They understand the art of war and they are very sophisticated in it. So you get reports of Identity Europa, which is a neo-Nazi paramilitary organization. Right. Uh, not, only, not only are they sophisticated in firearms, sophisticated and military tactics, but they are very, very sophisticated in terms of technological uh, uh, advancement, understanding technology, and how to work with it. So you, you, you get a, uh, 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 they just did a report that found that Identity Europa not only hacked Antifa's uh, websites, but were able to put this information in the websites that of made Antifa. it seem yeah. like yep. Antifa was the ones <laughs> generating this. So they were talking about- Sophisticated. Uh, right, sophisticated. So uh, Identity Europa cracks um, um, Antifa's website and puts messages about uh, um, uh, killing white people in white neighborhoods and looting white people in white neighborhoods. And, and Antifa is not the one that's putting this information out. Right, so they right. are engaging in warfare 
They are right. engaging in military uh, strategies and they right. are not limited to, although they are very sophisticated in armed right. conflict. Right, 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 right. Okay, now you look at, now you look at uh, 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 NFAC. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, down south, where you got a whole bunch of country boys walking in a single file, all dressed in black, uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, the KKK scared of us, you know. Right. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> tactically, 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 you could kill them all because they're all walking in a straight line. They're all dressed right. in black. Why you gonna, uh, why you do? Uh, um, um, Just, so they never took the time. They 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 form an organization. But they don't take the time to to study militaries. Uh, right, 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 right. To really become crackerjack at what they're doing, so that they are indeed effective, not just right. effective with a with a few why, why, uh, why? Uh, uh, four hundred pound uh, 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 fried Twinkie eating crackers uh, <laughs> standing in the road with a shotgun, but actually, but actually. Uh, that they are uh, a legitimate, a legitimate organization that takes pride right. in what they do, um, and and they have the wherewithal to do that because there are enough uh, black uh, uh, gun uh, uh, operations in effect. You look at uh, organizations like Urban Sharpshooters, right, right. And, and stuff like that, and a lot of right. their teachers. A lot of the uh, people who are instructors have intense military uh, background, uh, background right. 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 Uh, right. and come out of come out of uh, the Secret Service, the U.S. military. Uh, right. uh, they understand tactics and strategies, but these country boys just want to make an impression. They are not talking about becoming the best at um, um, excellent in what they do. But also, that's why I say this. That's why I say that's that ignorance part of the South, that you and know? arrogance that they yeah. think that they that that, uh, uh, that that there are people who really believe that uh, uh, all you need, all you need to confront white supremacy is a gun and a uniform no. <laughs> and, and, and talking a scared. lot of smack, right, uh, right? Because that is the last thing that white supremacy. <laughs> Uh, cares they're about. not afraid of that, right? They're not afraid of that. They got two million of the biggest, strongest, most muscle-bound black men in all of the world right. locked up in a damn prison system. Prison system. Right, uh, right. And they are all, they are all uh, doing everything they can to make a way within the 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 prison of white supremacy. That's all right. they understand. They, that's that's it. all they understand. No action yeah. they take is designed to attack white supremacy itself. None. None. That's a great point, Nat. That's a damn great point. That's a great point. Now, let's talk about the white supremacist that was in the state of Florida that smacked the white woman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, this is this is this is the kind of white supremacy that we are uh, prepared to deal with. Uh, spurts of of the super ignorant, but right. uh, again, again, there's an arrogance to there's more of an arrogance to white supremacy than there is to northern blacks. Because, right, that is right. That's uh, that's right. That is right. Because the arrogance of white supremacy is an arrogance that tells you that. You are are uh, have uh, dominion over all things. Right. That right. And you don't care. Bows to you. And you that don't is, care. Right. Smart don't nigga, care. dumb nigga, right. it don't matter. Right. Niggas right. a nigga. Right. Uh, right. Uh, Miss <laughs> nigga, poor right. nigga. Right. <laughs> you know, right. It don't right. matter. I'm, I'm still white. better than you. That's right. I'm, I'm white. still better than you. Right. I'm white. <laughs> okay. right. 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 So it's 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 an ultimate arrogance to white supremacy. Um. Um. And and um. Uh, they actually uh, took this uh, dude down rather quickly, but he was popping off a Ten whole seconds. lot of stuff. Right, right. They were popping seconds. off a whole lot of stuff, and right. and and he smacked that woman uh, Ooh, into boy. kingdom come. I mean, it right. Wasn't he just came a from the smack. south. He no, tried to he, hurt her back. You heard, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Then, right. But then they they pounced on him. Well, he was raised kidding. his hand. He has raised his arm to actually pummel the woman. 
They right, pounced right. on him after the smack, so he never right, right. really got a chance to inflict the kind of damage that, uh, that he was uh, that he was trying to do. Right, right, but you, right. but did you hear the white woman in the background going, "Don't, don't choke kill, him out! Right, don't, kill don't, him. Kill him. don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him!" Because that is the natural uh, uh, reaction. reaction: is to kill this bastard. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> but you also have to remember something. He did this. He did this, and he popped off. The, the, the dude said, uh, uh, "Watch your mouth. There's a whole lot of kids, you know." Right, right, he right, said, right. "Screw them all. I'm a butt bang this chick right, on right. the table." And call know. Donald Trump. Right, and right. Call Donald, call Trump. Donald Trump. Walked right. around. Um, but he, but he lost sight of something. He saw, lost sight of the fact that he was not in the middle of a bunch of black people. That the police was going to come to the. Uh, come to his aid if something went wrong. <laughs> he was in the middle of a, a, a bunch of weightlifting white boys. White boys. <laughs> <laughs> that pounced on him. That, they were going right. to kill him. They right, were going right. to kill him. They were going to choke his ass out, hold right, him down, right. kill him, right, uh, right. and tell him why they were killing him while they were killing while he's him. Doing it. Right, it took right. a woman, a woman, <laughs> uh, a white woman to say, don't kill don't his kill ass. Him. Right, don't <laughs> kill his ass. You know, if that was if that was a black man, it would have been a different story. Yes, it would have been a much different story. I'm not saying that they wouldn't have pounced on him, but uh, uh, there would have been a response from the police that was anti-black man pouncing on him, especially right. if the white man had 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 slapped, and it looked like it was a black woman that he slapped. You know, right, At right, least right, from the right. Videotape. I had but was it was it was. I yeah, seen the video. Yeah. It was a white woman. It was okay, a white woman. okay, okay, okay. Because the shadow confused me a little bit. Right, right. Um, right, because I thought it was a black um, woman. Then I had to go back yeah. and look at it like five yeah, times. It was yeah, a white woman. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, but, but there would have been a, a, a far different response, a white police force, especially in a place like Aurora, Colorado. Uh, uh, come, uh, on. Uh, come on, uh, come on, come on. If that had gone down with, with black guys. No. Um, but what did see that? You know what? I also have this is an issue that I'm having as well. The gay boy. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. The yeah, gay guy yeah, yeah. who painted white paint on the Black Lives Matter sign in New York. Yeah. But yet, the gay say they're fighting our fight. No, 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 no. That's not our fight. Well, no, they, they, no, 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 no. Well, the black chick, yeah. At least the gay guy didn't didn't bring Jesus into the conversation. That was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you well, we know, we know the, But see, my thing is this: what I don't understand about us people is that if there was a black person, say, doing something, a black woman. Or say, oh, say, just say, a black woman walks into a place where it says, playing all white lives matter. All right. What do you think? Do you think white men would have done something to her? Um, no. But, but you don't think so? Um, because um, I don't understand um, when this black woman did all of this, black people just stood around and let her do it. See, this goes back to um, our original uh what brought us to the conversation in the first place um why we need to understand uh slavery and the specific roles we were allotted right uh, uh also also uh it speaks to with the with the white gay guy it also speaks to the issue of white folks don't like anybody making money where they don't make something okay <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> well said. Um, uh, That's true. Okay. They really don't. They really right, don't. Right, they really right, don't. Right, they really right. don't. They say, "Well, if y'all give the niggas reparations, you got. I need some money too. You know. <laughs> uh, you know. Get your, everybody wants right, them. Right. 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 White, folk, uh, uh, white folks. White got to pay twice. <laughs> get, get paid twice, <laughs> you know. You that, know. Again, when you get paid, white, and then a surcharge on that, right? For white. That goes back to white supremacy, right? It goes back to white supremacy. It goes back to our specific roles with uh in uh within white supremacy, and how we go back to uh finding ways to accommodate white supremacy, legislate against white supremacy. 
capitulate against right, white supremacy, uh, separate from white supremacy, all the ways we have of surviving within the concept of, uh, uh, in the context of white supremacy. So you look at the black chick, understand that the black chick is finding a way to make a buck, to hustle within the context of white supremacy. White supremacy, right, right. So what she is doing, why she is doing, and remember, this is a college educated negress. Uh, 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 well, she is. She is. This nigga went to college. <laughs> this nigga went to college, and this nigga studied uh, business administration. You know, I mean, the black girl. What the black girls study? They study business administration, and they study teaching. You know, social services or something like that. You know? All right. So she did all that. She did all that. You know, but she couldn't turn a trick with none of that stuff. She couldn't turn a trick with none of that stuff. And she ain't high yellow, so she can't turn the high yellow rat trick. Uh, uh. So how does she turn a trick within the confine in, in the context of, of, of white supremacy? She uh, represents white supremacy by desecrating uh, 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 Black Lives Matter. And, and, and remember, remember, it's not just a desecration of a sign. No, you have right. cheap in the real estate. As soon as, I mean, you take some, a, a beautiful work of art and you, uh, right. and you paint right. all over it. You've like right. ghettoized the, the neighborhood. And she didn't just do this downtown. She did right. this she did. In, the, in the dead of night in Harlem. And she did right. it in the dead of night in Brooklyn. Okay. And, okay. and then during the day on Fifth Avenue. Right, right. Correct. Now, 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 well, that, that maximizes her visibility. And that's how she's turning her trick. What she is doing to make money, what she is doing to make money is actually uh, getting donations from whites and white supremacist organizations by posting these videos and then getting donations from them via PayPal. It's the same thing that uh, the white gay guy is doing. He's getting money, he's getting money by posting his own videos. All of the videos that we got from them right. were videos that they shot and posted right. on Facebook themselves. Right, uh, right. Uh, uh, to, to, and, 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 got, and got donations. And they're getting big money. Uh, when uh, when when uh, uh, the the black chick posted the video of her in the car preparing uh, to uh, paint all over the one in Harlem, right, and she right. says in the video, uh, "I gotta yeah. get a new car." Right. All right. All right. right. All, right. Right. all right. All right. So she has a car. She bought a car with this money. Uh, they buy uh, paint. They, 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 they making their money off of desecrating Black Lives Matter uh, uh, murals right. and then posting the video on and then taking donations on PayPal. Okay. Uh, so she is accommodating white supremacy. She has found a way. College didn't do it for her ass. College didn't do it. Her <laughs> couldn't turn the trick. Right, she couldn't turn the trick with business administration. <laughs> <laughs>